Welcome back to Dark Corner Streaming. New to Netflix, El Conde, The Count, is a Chilean satirical horror based around former right-wing dictator Auguste Pinochet. Director Pablo Lorraine is no stranger to biographical films, nor films invoking the spectre of the general, but it's safe to say that El Conde takes a different tack. Casting Pinochet as a 250-year-old vampire who faked his death and has been living in isolated retirement, now tired of life. And if all that wasn't enough to convey the tone, the film is narrated by Margaret Thatcher. A lady not for turning. Particularly at the start of the movie, as the former British Prime Minister guides us through the Count's personal history. From revolutionary France, licking the blood of Marie Antoinette from the guillotine, through to his Chilean heyday. In 1935, he reappeared under his definitive name. The only problem I have with this opening is that I do think it sets you up for a movie that, for the most part, we don't get. The blood and madness of the premise largely vanishing once we relocate to the Count's splendidly gothic retreat, where his family, who are not vampires, have assembled in anticipation of his death to preemptively pick over the carcass. The Count has decided to give his secret fortune to his children. Although this slows things down, this does sound like my sort of setup, character based, and I do like mundane events being made fantastic. And when the hired accountant proves to be more than she seems, it seemed as if things were going to take off again. But, for me at least, this midsection is where the film lets itself down. Becoming very talky indeed, and more like the audit of the dead. And by the time the madder stuff returned, quite late in the day, my interest had waned. I do wonder if it works better for a Chilean audience, or just if you are more familiar with the events of Pinochet's downfall and looting of his country, because in the end, this is not a vampire film with a novel premise. It's a different way of looking at a dictator. Blood drinking and heart eating are quite blunt metaphors, but I do like the analogy of clinging to power as the elderly vampire clings to life, surrounded by this decaying grandeur that now seems faintly ridiculous. But also threatening, because through history, these people do always seem to be with us in some form. That corruption of power never dies. It's a great looking film, with veteran cinematographer Edward Luckman really delivering on the required atmosphere. But I do think I would have personally enjoyed it more if it was all as mad as it occasionally manages to be. That said, I don't think it failed to be that, it's just not the film I wanted. Thanks for watching. Have you seen El Conde yet? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.